Hey folks, welcome to the Something About Haggis podcast uh, with Hog Deacon Banjo. This is episode, you know, uh, 36. 36, and uh, we're still quarantined and isolation. Yay, woo! Take it Thanks away, Thanks for Deke. listening, right? Tather <laughs> 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 now. Shake bag if you didn't hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> fucking aced it, boys. Fucking they bother you, I man. I can come back to fucking wanking and... Uh, that that doesn't surprise me that that's mostly what you've tip like what you've used most of your time off them. Uh, I I like the idea that like I've seen people on Facebook post things like oh this has been my like fucking quarantine project or whatever and like on Reddit and shit and it's people like daying out their bathroom or some shit like that or like sorting their garden out. Banjo's just like I've just been coming all over my computer screen for the whole <laughs> time. That's been my product project. If, um, if I brought a black black light in here, you'd be able to see my room for space. Right. <laughs> I've, uh, what have I been doing? I've been trying to fail all of the towels in my house. <laughs> That's been my problem. No, 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 wait a minute. Mate, I've no I've I'm waiting on my fucking paint by numbers still to come. So uh I've got to start. Why all now, man? It? That's like what, uh, five four or five weeks? Has it been that long? Uh, you should probably uh, just accept the fact you're not getting your paint by numbers. Times times kinda like all melted together for me. I'm not sure really how long I've even has, been off now. Has it been oh, a day or five weeks? I've, I've emailed them. I've, I've emailed them, but they never got back to me. I banned you. They, they've scammed you at 50 quid, mate. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I'll, I'll ask you. Unlucky. On, I'll ask you on Instagram. She, she's got you in. She had like a, a giraffe or something. And I was like, oh, I've got you in a name, but not yet. It's in my post. <laughs> <laughs> did she buy it for the same bit as you, or did she I, actually like, get it off the. Uh, well, I think, I think it was the same bit, but she, uh, she, 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 she said uh, it took her a while. Uh, but I've also ordered a phone case, and that was about three weeks ago. What else have I ordered? I've also ordered shit for Wish. Still waiting on that, and they they sent me an email asking if I received it, and I was like, no. Nah. And they're like, all right, it's are on its sh- it was on its are way. Are you sure you put the right delivery dr- the address on? I fucking hope so, because if if my <laughs> if my ex's accounts are still on it, they're getting a hood of Mate, new that'd shit. That'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah. I just got you all this shit that you've been buying online, like flashlights and that, or just got you. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, that's that's been a tough tough decision that in, but I've lasted this long with it. And oh, sure, uh, why is there a flesh flashlight turned up with a postman? <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, just because I missed you in that. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't order it, man. Come right. in at three o'clock in the morning and pick it up. Pick it up. Right. <laughs> you can have a chat at the same time. You could snap it in half. Uh, <laughs> what was it? I got a uh, I got an email for the army. Uh, I mean, uh, well, I seen Kev tell me. I think. Yeah, I got my, I got my start. Or did date. you tell me? What? I got somebody tell me. I seen something. And words were exchanged. Kev what did it say? I've uh, I got my final offer, and then uh, my start date is the nineteenth. Final offer. Nineteenth of July. It's like deal or no deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, thank you. <laughs> what? Um, where is it you're wanting to go? The dog handle, isn't it? Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, I just need to pass. Have my you phase got it? One phase two. Are you? Uh, are you going? Aye. July 13th, mate. Ah, there was eight, eight folks selected. In the whole of the country. Yeah. National, whatever that means. How, how many? Nation, <laughs> nationwide. <laughs> so, so. I was the banking, the banking group that done it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Santander. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. Maybe in England. Uh, There's been a lot of folk for England up in fucking CD. But the amount of what? folk I've the, like see the amount of like English tourists and that I've seen in like camper vans and stuff. Like since our lockdown rules didn't they get like loosened much? Uh, they they've all been just heading north. England, right? Lol. Fuck I seen that people decided it was quite a nice day the other day, so they thought okay, I'm all guy the beach in the park. Uh, and, uh, sure. fucking and they're like Oh, this COVID thing's over now because the weather's out. The weather's nice. <laughs> did, uh, that's, did that's you, definitely the way it worked. It's not raining, so it must like not come out now. Did you see the video of the lassie on the beach with her family, and she was like, "I think it's fucking disgusting how all these folk are like not taking it seriously, and they've came to the fucking beach whilst they're sitting on the beach with them." <laughs> right. Uh, that's, that's the classic British thing, though. Isn't uh, it? Uh, Look at all these cunts doing the same thing I'm doing, but I'm being responsible by doing it. I, I've thought about it, so. I mean, I have the moral high ground. Yeah. I've considered that I might be being a cunt for doing this, so therefore I am not a cunt because I <laughs> That's, That's my kind of thinking. Like. 
It's fucking stupid, man. That should, sh- that should That's the kind of thing like relationships, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Where it's like, I can fucking sleep about who I want, but if you fucking text somebody, like, that's it. <laughs> that's nothing like a relationship, <laughs> mate. No. <laughs> That's a that's a reach and a very fucking poor one at that. You're also, st- you're also still a prick for doing that. I, no, I'm just saying. Talk, like, talking about relationships, how's things going with your missus? Great. I, I just didn't want to talk about her on the podcast. Great. She's, I've not seen her in ten weeks. It's been getting fantastic. Oh, no, she's I'm not sorry, spoke to me much, so she's not fed up with me yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Realised that I'm actually a child. Uh, I'm realising that she's too good for me, and I'm scared she realises. <laughs> Mace Patch year, up. Uh, I was just going to say 99% of lasses <laughs> hey. Myra Hindley would be on your level I have no idea who that is She's not surprised me <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh, not a sh- If there's one thing we've learned on this podcast is Banjo is not a student of history Yeah true Rose West, mm. do you care who that is? Nah, she sounds hot She sounds hot <laughs> I definitely think her enchanters me <laughs> Oh man how do you uh, knock in who these folk are? Yeah, I do. Do I have to? Right. It's not about having to know, really. It's like, how would I describe this? Is it going to help me in today's society? It's n- no. <laughs> That's a stupid way of looking at it. It's, it's like, not, though. It's not. Does, does knowing about Hitler help you in day to day life? No, it doesn't, but you still know well, who I, he is uh, and what he did. kind of does, I. How? Oh, if you gone up to a Jew, you like you don't be don't be fucking. I mean, well, you don't be flashing swastika. <laughs> <or something. laughs> I mean, like you don't need there's kind of a bit of, it's a code of conduct, isn't it? Like just don't do that. <laughs> it's a code. Of, that's what Hitler taught the world: a code of conduct. <laughs> 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 fucking hell! Jesus, man. Be nice to people. Like, be nice. To people. What was was that? You know, Hitler's lessons. Uh, I, I don't know. Really? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, kind of. But, like, when people think of, like, the war and the Holocaust, I don't think the thing they think is be nice to people. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, well, can, I mean, kind of, but not really. I know, I know, I know that... Folk just I know didn't realise Ro- he was just trying to get everybody to get along. Uh, <laughs> Romania, <laughs> Romania was, you know, the first folk to take their side. I know that. What, Hitler's side? Is that even, is mm-hmm. that even historically accurate? Yeah. Yes. A lot of countries flipped because they didn't want to get invaded. And I, I know, that. I know, Poland was the first bit what got invaded. That no, wasn't it. It was Czechoslovakia. I'm gonna say it's Poland or Czech Republic. It was one of the two. Because he was like, uh, "I'm gonna take this now." And the Allies were like, "They done this thing called what was it? Uh, appeasing or something? It was called appeasement." And they were like, "You can have that bit of Czech. I think it was Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia." Yeah, because it, it had only been um, a country for like nine or ten years at that yeah, point, so there was still a lot of German German citizens yeah, in a lot of the provinces. It was a historical part of Germany, and he was like, "I'm going to take this part of Germany," and they were like, "Yeah, you can do it, but no more Hitler." But you can, and then Hitler was like, that. "Yeah, okay." So then. A homie, I can't remember his name, came back to the UK and was like, "Oh, it's cool. He's not going <laughs> to invade anything homie. else." And then, and then Hitler invaded the rest of it. That was the first place he invaded. And then oh. it was like he'd done the same thing again a couple of times. And then they were like, "Right, boys." And it was when he was going to invade. It may have been Poland, France. which <laughs> no, it was Poland. I'm pretty sure which started the war. They were like, "If you do it again, we will declare war." And I think it may have been Poland they rocked into it and then they were like, yeah. it's wartime, bitch. Then I think that was it. I wouldn't fuck with the or fucking France and Britain were like, right, that's plenty. No, well, actually, the USSR was on Hitler's side at the start of World War II because Hitler realised the problems Germany had in World War One and fighting on two fronts. So he actually made a pact with Stalin and was like, I'll definitely not invade you, wink, wink. And Stalin was like, yeah, that's cool, man. No worries. You do and then you, fucking. Bro. Yeah, he, st- he smashed through Belgium, Netherlands, took most of France, and like the, like pretty much all of France, effectively. And then he was like, we can either go after Britain now, or Russia, and he was like, lol, Russia, attacked Russia, and Stalin was like, fuck, son. Right, that's you, yeah. sit down. Yeah, no, Russia got their shit pushed in for a while, Yeah, and they kind of figured things out during <laughs> the winter. They got too far north, and then the snow kind of fucked them. <laughs> uh, well, too far east. And then they hit Moscow, uh, and then apparently it was a case where the Russians were holding down, like, there'd be, like, one or two people in, like, a building, 
and they would fight off like just fucking it was like nazi zombies they were just fighting off waves of nazis yeah. coming in and it was like one of the most br- that was the most brutal front in world war ii because they were just like we will not give you another fucking inch and then when stalin finally got his shit together he moved all his factories from the european part of russia to the siberian side and he brought in siberian fighters to fight yeah. in the and then winter. he went right that's and he was it. like I right, check this out and then they just <laughs> fucking smashed them all it just brings in the fucking siberians yeah right that's it because you've had your fun yeah. it's time hitler's, to put the fucking fit down now uh hitler's plan was to beat russia quick enough like not let them kind of get prepared beat them fast enough and then just turn everything on britain take that yeah. you've got europe and then rush africa eff- effectively but the russians were like aye that's cool but check this out Here's a blizzard in your face. <laughs> There's a brief history of World War Two for the listeners in about there three you minutes. Go. Fucking Stalin, God of the Snow. Uh-huh. Just decided he, 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 he was having a blizzard. He was incompetent as fuck for a while, and then he was like, "Right, boys, let's just." He was like, a, "He was like a parent with a child." He like let him get so far, and was like, "I'll help with this." I'll, right, fuck this. You've taken the piss now. And he was just like. <laughs> And then slaps I'm him tur- across the heat in the middle I, of Tesco. I'm turning this car around and we're going home. And just kicked all of them fuck out of Germany on the Eastern Front. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Banjo, if you, or everybody listening, if you want to learn a bit, bit about history, there's this great fucking channel on YouTube called Oversimplified. They tell, like, all these, like, World War One, World War Two, like, American Civil War, shit like that, but they do it in, like, a really easy-to-understand way and, like, use cartoons and stuff. That'll definitely help you to understand what happened. They're super popular. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Oversimplified. I like See, it. I've been watching shitloads of videos on uh, fuck, what's the channel called? Uh, Biographics. It's yeah. not. It's not just like history stuff. Like I watched a shitload about serial killers and that. Like I went in a rabbit hole. Like uh, looking at like fucking Ted Bundy and Jim Jones. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer and all that. Some of them were fucking mental. I was like, holy fuck, this guy had yeah. serious issues. Like the Birdman Alcatraz. He's nicknamed that, but he never actually had any birds on Alcatraz. He ended up being an Alcatraz after he had these birds and shit. It was a weird thing. Speaking of Alcatraz, uh, whatever it is, I did my homework. Speaking of that, whatever it is, this is a thing I want to say. <laughs> Great segue, Banjo. I fucking, boom, I, smooth as fuck. I did my homework. Right, get I on watched, what? I like, what, I like, fucking 10 minutes ago. Watched the uh, book of Eli. Mm-hmm. Completed it, mate. Right. Is that it? Well, tell me what. Did you understand it, it this time? Uh, I kind of. After I, we've told you, I guess. I guess so. All the bits they look for. Yeah, uh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't stop looking for the wee bits where he was kicking steps and shit. Like, yeah. Did you think it was better or worse knowing what you know now? Well, when I was rewatching it, not really changed it for you. Uh, rewatching it, I was like, "He's blind. He's blind. He's blind." And I was like, "Fuck! Stop! He's stop, blind. Stop How did I that. not know this before?" <laughs> I know, but uh, I don't know, man. It's still a great film. I, I just love Mila Kunis, like so. Yeah. Uh, uh, cool. But that was on uh, Al- Alcatraz. Ah, at the end, he goes to Alcatraz. Ah, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's where you find out that he's blind. Yeah. Yeah, because he's. Uh, that, bit, that bit you just totally missed the first time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you, then you had the fucking audacity to argue with me on this podcast. <laughs> and, like, and I was like, "You're a fucking mug." Well, you, is you is argued it, the wrong you, point you, about a yeah. film on the internet. <laughs> uh, he, was, he, mate, he was literally like, "No, his eyes are just like white and glazed over." No, they're, they're, they're not so. even. They're not even like. They're still normal, but it, at the very end, it just showed you like a wee bit. They're like, they're not even that bad. They're like glazed over though. A They're wee bit. Over. Like my Almost my like dog's eyes are mere glazed over. Like maybe your father wants to get the fucking optician then. No, my my dog. No, my dad. All oh, right, I thought you said your dad. <laughs> hey, no, my dog. So, right, because uh, a dog's anatomy is directly fucking equivalent to a human's anatomy. That makes sense. Yeah, same thing. Whatever, man. Did you, did you see the video I'm carrying my wee dog about in my bag today? I seen that you posted something on Snapchat and I just didn't even look at it. Oh, look at it. it. Okay, that's why I got a notification and just swiped that away. Yeah, well, open it up, get a look. He got tired, so I had to carry him. Tell you what, I didn't even care you had that dog. Views would have seen it. Yeah, he's ninety-two. Dog years. He's ninety-two. Yeah, dog dog years. Right, fuck off with that push. 
Yes. Can you do the math? What does that make him in human years? Or, or 91. He's 91, I think. I think he's like 14. Is that, I didn't even count how many dog years. 14 times year. 7. 7. Is it 7? Yeah, boy. What is a cat 9? No, a cat's got 9 lives. <laughs> no, cats are like the same, are they not? Like Their years are different from human years or some shit. I think, I think they're the same as dogs. Are they the same? I thought they were a bit more. I thought that's why it was 9 lives, because it was like... Oh, maybe. Uh, cat years to human years. Are cat years uh, a thing? I don't think cat a five-year-old cat would be about thirty-seven human years. The fuck does that mean? You could just say your cat's five. Yeah. Aye, so about seven. It just has a shorter. It's generally time. agreed that the first two years of a cat's life are roughly equal to twenty. The first twenty-five of humans. After this, each additional year is around four cat years. <laughs> it's a blessing. <laughs> Thank you. Every year after three, it's a blessing. <laughs> well, aye. Did you hear? A bit of podcast news, mate. Your oh, boy yeah. Joe Rogan Joe. moving exclusively Aye. to Spotify. That's well, good, man. I like that. I, pref- I suit that. Is better, it not like... already on Spotify? It's no, on Spotify, but it's, it not, be ex- it's not. Oh, it's actually not him, actually, though. Yeah. It's not him. Yeah, yeah. It has. It's not on Spotify right now. It's on iTunes and YouTube and like a bunch of other ones. All the same platforms that you can find something about haggis. Aye, probably more. But he's moving exclusively to Spotify now, and on his YouTube, it'll only be, like, the clips and shit. Yeah. And they'll not be available anywhere else. What do you think about that? See, I didn't ken. It was Kieran what told me, shout out to you, Kieran. Uh, he, it was him what told me that it was getting took off everything else. I thought they were just keeping it on, and the, and he was no, day, doing like we were doing. And I was like, how the fuck's he getting all that money for just... Using that's that. what exclusive means. Yeah, uh, never. Exclusive. I thought it was like I thought it was like exclusive news. Like the first you're hearing it here is woo. No, that's basically Spotify saying to him, "We'll give you a stupid amount of money because enough money, folk yeah. listen like to it. Like fifty million or something. will make us yeah. money. Yeah, it's gonna be like Spotify are doing it with a few different like big podcasts and that. They're buying them up, and I think yeah, they the they seem to be like kind of same. doubling down on podcasts. Like a lot yeah. of bits are like try to get them off YouTube. Because I think a lot, I think a lot of it comes down to like folk are kind of fed up with YouTube, like having like their algorithm and all that shit. I assume I don't really know. We don't have a successful channel, so I, do. I don't like. See, the thing with Joe Rogan is the algorithm; it doesn't affect a channel of that size, right? Because it's going, it well, not negatively. It's going to push us shit so much because it's always such high hits and such like high in the trending lists. That yeah, his like it's channel more benefits popular, more from, search for. Yeah, his channel benefits more from the algorithm. Yeah, and also, if you're looking for a Joe Rogan, like you go on and you're like, it's not just really something you stumble across, really, is it? It's yeah. like, oh, Joe Rogan will have a podcast out today, so you search for it anyway. It's that big that it's like the algorithm doesn't affect them. This is just about money. I'm like ninety nine percent sure. No, no yeah, other reason. No, no, I meant feel like the point of view of like other ones that are getting bought up and stuff, or like oh, getting right, rights yeah. moved to like different bits. Yeah, that's just because like well. like so we are. I know mentioned. that like if. <laughs> Like, say if we were actually in some way making money and, like, monetized off it, like, we couldn't swear in the first minute or whatever. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Like, like, when we first started, YouTube. we didn't swear in the first minute or, like, it puts their stuff down and, like, doesn't... Yeah, Like, YouTube. even folk that look for it, like, if you only subscribe to a channel but you've looked at their stuff, like, quite a lot, yeah. when they put something new, it tends to come up on, like, your homepage. And you recommended. Yeah. yeah. So, like, it won't come up in your recommended if you're, like, breaching, like, certain things that they do and stuff like that. Like, it bumps you down yeah. in the algorithm and stuff. Yeah, but YouTube's not even the biggest place for podcasts. iTunes is the biggest place for podcasts. Yeah, that's true. Like, iTunes, like, I'm 90% sure that iTunes kicks the living fuck out of every other platform for podcast listens. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, I don't know. It's just, like, people are moving for the money is what it is. If anybody wants to buy us out, that'd be fantastic. That'd be phenomenal. We'll take tenor. Danny Hanks, you can get a free right piggy now. bank. Uh, Banjo gave you his fucking SpongeBob piggy bank. Yeah, I, I've I, I've gave that away. Who'd you get to? Uh, my nieces, but it's for my money. What's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> your nieces, but it's for your money. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just holding it for you like a bank. Yeah, Literally, yeah, that's exactly what it is. You've had to you've had to give that to your nieces because you can't be trusted to save your own money. One hundred percent. You're like, what are they, like six or something? Eight? Oh, yeah, actually. these eight, these nine and eleven year olds. Is that <laughs> <it>? <laughs> uh, so I have given them, <laughs> give them the oh, piggy bank. Oh, you've looked like a right prick there, haven't you? 
Yeah, uh, fair Nine. love Manis isn't that. Don't know what age they are though. Nine. You're on to about them all the time. Uh, they're, they're, they're still my wee angels, God. They'll be still babies to me. No. It's probably 36 or something. Like <laughs> 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 Some of the angels. What age are they, Banjo? Think about it. That's not, right. that's not good. What age were you when they were born? How the fuck is he going to remember F- that? Mate, I, I can't even remember that. How, how much coke did you have at the time they were born? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know I'm, I was, Jamie Lee, I was on holiday in an elevator when I found out that she was born. Uh, Madison, I think I was on holiday again. Fuck knows. Look, how many fucking nieces have you got? Three. How many holidays you got on? <laughs> fucking oh. busy boy. You know, I'm, you know, I'm just like. Oh, it was the young holiday. His sister was busy. <laughs> 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 yeah, so. I'm trying to get away before I have to get out of the army, but that's not happening. Doubt. That's not happening, mate. Unless what, two months. Unless you get to the bottom hard park hard. with a tent, you've no chance. Uh-huh. You can get fishing out again. You can get out fishing again soon, though. I'm going paragliding that, soon. Next that week. Well, when are you going back to work, Banjo? This, this week? Next week. Like the mo- oh, fucking like the morning, mate, I'll, I'll turn up when I want. <laughs> I'll turn up when I want. I'm going to the army, mate. I don't give a fuck anymore. Uh, I've got it. I'm back for a week or two weeks, and then I'm on a three-week holiday, <laughs> and then I don't go back to work because I've joined the army on the very last day of my holiday. Funny how things work out in life, isn't it? I know. I know. Well, you get that holiday where you have to get back because mine, like with some bits, like they'll you your, they'll Aye. let you book holidays, but then if you leave, they're like, well, then you wouldn't be entitled to that holiday. Yeah. Aye, you well, have accumulated the days. Aye, I don't know, but they're making us take five. We're, we get two weeks off in July, uh, and then they they're making us take another week added on to it uh, at the start. So I don't think I've accumulated the moment because I took a hurry of holidays at the start of the year. But I'm just, I'm just going to fucking wing it and take it anyway and then have me notice it. Just not get to come back. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm just really hoping I win the lottery before I've got to come back to work. <laughs> Time's that's, ticking. That's, bro, that's my game plan. I said that to Campbell yesterday when I was speaking to him because he starts back the morning. And I, was like, like, I take it you mean big Campbell, eh? Nah, like young Campbell. Oh, is he back to work now? Yeah, he went back down, to, he, well, he went back down the road on Friday. Friday? Oh. No. Yeah, it must, no, it must have been yesterday. I went back down the road yesterday, and I was speaking to him last night, and I was he was like, I'm back to work tomorrow, man, I really can't be fucked, or Monday, really can't be fucked. Oh, well, he's been uh, off, like, fucking, for, like, two weeks before lockdown, though, or something, huh? Aye, aye, and I was like, mate, that got and shit. I'm the exact same, and I'm just really hoping I win the lottery in the next, like, two weeks or something like that. <laughs> Need to that's that's my game plan. Or I'm going to have to quit my, my job. That's my game plan. I can't get back to work now, man, fuck that. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm done. I'm done with working. It's shit. It's pretty fucking depressing. Like, I think it, it's been worse for me because I see everybody be like, "Oh, just the way I'm wondering that." I'm just doing such and such today, and I'm like, "All right, all right so. Just doing all these things that I'm not meant to be doing. The, the, the amount of fucking folk that have been, like, oh, it's been a lovely day the other day, hasn't it? And I'm like, I can see that we have windows. Now fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's fucking ignorant. I don't know, man. It's fucking stupid. Folk like, oh, it's a nice day, so I should do something, and you're like, no, you shouldn't. You're in lockdown, mate. I don't think of a fuck if you think it's nice. It's uh, nice. Just because it's nice doesn't mean you're not going to get ill. Aye. Right. And the amount of folk I've seen walking about with like fucking face masks and shit and like driving in their car with face masks and I'm like, who are you protecting yourself with? Or they like leave their nose poking out it and that and I'm like, what the fuck right. is wrong with you? <laughs> People, man. So folk hey. with their face masks in the car and that. Like. Oh, hey, I got fucking ID'd in Tesco's the other day. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I did gents too. I've not and been I'd... ID'd, like, ever in Tesco's. It's fu- Mate, it's a fucking joke, isn't it? I'm all than fucking half their team leaders, which makes Mate, me f- <laughs> feel all as fuck, actually. Mine, when you were working up there, and I went in, and I was going to buy a bottle of Jack, <laughs> and this lassie was like, it was at self-service, and she came up and she was like, have you been drinking today? And I was like, I was at the pub watching the Fibber. And she was like, oh, right, uh, how much have you had? And I was like, probably like three or four pints. And she's like, all right, I can't give you this. And I thought she was joking because Deke was stood next to me. I was like, oh, well, this is funny. She actually took the jack off me and put it back on the shelf. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And Deke's like, I, I was like, is that a hang? And he's like, aye, for folks that are legless, like, can he stand up, gas? Aye, like, can he give them drink? you absolutely minced, you're not supposed to give aye. them drink, like, for, aye, their but own, I was like, for their own health. I literally had, like, three or four pints when I was at the pub, and I was like, I'm just getting a bottle of jack. I'm going somewhere. And she was like, nah. <laughs> what? Fuck you, I'm getting the co-op. Serve me in the co-op, because they're nice. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. They, they, care, they care about their local community. Exactly. Tesco's, doesn't they? Fuck I would have kicked up a hoodie of shit for that, like. 
What's that guy day band? That'll definitely help it. I'm not fucking steaming you stupid bitch. No. Give me that fucking no, drink. I, would, I, would, I, would, I spoke exactly. to somebody else and be like, you can clearly see I'm not drunk. Like, I'm just wanting a fucking... Uh, I, well, Deke was stood next to me working at the fucking time and I was right. like, hey, Ken. And she was like, there's nothing I can do. She's already not served you. And uh, I was like, all right. Like, even if, like, a ma- like the store manager could walk around and be like, I believe that you're not drunk, but she's already said that right. she's not oh. why I serve you, so I can't overrule her. Because you've, like... Like yeah, you've, just, you've got to support the staff kind of thing. Yeah. It's the oh, same when you're working right. in a pub. If you like, if I refuse somebody's service, like when I was working at Sam's Amendo's the other night, I refused the boy and like kicked him out because he was being a dick. And this was a Saturday night before everybody else came in. And then I think it was Mo came in later on and he came up to Mo and he was like, look, I wasn't being a dick in that. And I was like, no, you were. You can fuck off. And Mo's like, look, he said you're being a dick. You're not coming back in. I'm not serving you. And they also serve you. Not the night anyway. Like, You've got to come back another time. Uh, you know them kind of things. Ah. I mean, I kind of agree with it, but then there's times when I'm like, can you fuck off? Like, because like, the other day when I was in Tesco, I was getting fags, I was like, because I was at, uh, where the fuck was I? Oh, I was getting drink. And, uh, I, oh, that was a fucking nightmare and all. Um, I went in and I was like, oh, I'll get like, some cider or some wine, whatever. Because uh, it was, it was kind of a garden party, but it was with like neighbours that were in their gardens. Kind of thing, do you know what I mean? We're so, shouting over the wall. Aye, literally, like we start shouting across three gardens all night, just talking shit, and then I broke in on my fucking. Well, I never. Derek Boyd broke in on my fucking uh, outdoor chair. He just fuck. He was standing talk like at the fence, like talking, and then he just fucking fell through. It. He just disappeared. Um, but aye, so I'm, I'm getting my drink in that, and uh, this wee lassie who must be like nineteen, twenty or so, if that maybe. She's like, oh, have you got ID with you? And I was like, uh, have no. you got ID hen? I was like, no, I've, like, I've got my phone. I just, I was got to pay contact. Let's kind of thing. Oh, I can't serve you then if like you look under 25. And I was like, I'm sure there's plenty of al folk who've said that to you that are going to take that as a compliment. I was like, I'm 28 and I probably shagged your mother. This is a fucking joke. I well wasn't impressed. I walked around the corner. Uh, <laughs> I seen one of the lassies for Tesco's that I knew. Walked up to the fag counter and I was like, can I get 20 sterling king size pal? And he was like, I ain't bother. Serve me, no bother. No. And uh, the lassie was like, I thought you were in getting drink. I was like, I was. Until that wee fucking arsehole of pal of yours decided to fucking ID me. And then she kind of looked about like to look for like, you know, the supervisors or whatever. I was like, I can, there's none you can do about it. Just leave it. I was like, I'll go on home, I'll get my ID and I'll come back. So I had to make a fucking, I had to make two trips. Which, um, in fairness, isn't far. Still a trip I'd rather not made though. Especially in isolation, mate. I was fucking, I, mean? I was fucking raging, man. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you can't be serious. Like Aye. I was probably at school with you know your parents, or at least Aye. like a young auntie or uncle. Get what I mean? It's fucking mad. I got ID'd in Sam's your night, and I was like, bro, you need to have a word, mo. Like this isn't happening. Because <laughs> it was the same thing. It was like this young lassie. It was her first night, and she's like, you got any ID? And I was like, I work here. And she was like. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "Well, well, I've not seen you," and I'm like, "I, because I didn't, I didn't work a Saturday night." And she was like, "Oh well, I can't serve you with ID." And I was like, "Trust me, it's fine, bro. <laughs> like, he actually does work here. He's not taking the piss." And I, was like, I love more sure like <laughs> my my wee brother had to text me the other day. He's like, "Are you at work?" And I was like, "I have." And he's like, "Cause uh, I've lost my ID, uh, and I'm in the tune needing drink." And I was like, "I fire on," and I stood Sucks there. To be wa- you, right? I stood there waiting, right? <laughs> And uh, I seen him, like, he came, got his drink and that, and then wandered away, went to pay for it and that, and I spoke to him. He went to get out of the checkout, so, like, on the wee heat sets at the co-op, I was like, uh, aye, Kath, make sure you ID that boy. And <laughs> she ID'd him, and he's like, I've not got ID. And then I'm standing at, like, if it hadn't been for me laughing, I probably would have just left it. I'm standing there laughing, like, fuck, he's, like, looking a bit, like, looking for me. Oh, fucking class, man. But that's what I would have done. See if I got a text, like, I don't know, it sucks to be you, right? <laughs> been like... It doesn't matter if you're my brother, I can't fucking... I shouldn't right. be serving family, you know what I mean? It's fucking ridiculous. But I, I, to be fair, I said to them, like, I was like, nah, it's my wee brother, don't you worry about it, he's fine. Oh, have you got a wee brother? Yes, I just don't like talking to you, so I don't tell you any p- personal information. I don't no, think you you've ever told me that, that you've got f- a wee brother. You what? I don't think you've ever told me that you've got a wee brother. I've got two, mate. Four sisters, two that. brothers. I knew you had sisters, like, didn't you, Ken? You had brothers. Banjo, can you sit a bit closer to your fucking mic, please? Mm. Aye, maybe oh, fuck I. For the living room. My bad. My phone was under it's my... It's fucking... 
My phone was in my gooch. He's fucking standing in the garden. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's just shit with you, Yeah. <laughs> my phone was in my fucking... gooch. I'm eating sweeties. Nice. Can you not leave that? No. No. Can I sweeties you got? Uh, well, I had these strawberry pencils. I've got the lips. Uh, I've got the teeth. And I've got uh, the wee foam bananas. Oh, the ones that like high school lasses eating that. Aye. 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 Them. Just c- catering to your clientele. <laughs> well, good. He's got to try and ba- get some jewel bait on the go by <laughs> chucking them sweeties like the witch in Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> Did you see the giveaway the sun had today, by the way? Or was it yesterday? Yeah. They had a giveaway. You could win hand sanitizer. <laughs> I, I never Where read it. I think the tell tell me about it. Get how normally the day like, oh, you can get like a, fucking, a holiday. I like a Butlins holiday for like fifty uh, pound or some shit, uh, or like you get it free or whatever if you get all the tokens. It was for bottles of hand sanitizer. <laughs> That's, that's embarrassing. Oh, what a fucking joke, man. That's some top level shit right there. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. What else? That Oh, see that same night I got fucking ID'd by that lassie. Had, had myself a lovely wee night. Heading in fucking two o'clock. So like, I put the lights out. Uh, Ken, like the outside lights I've got. Aye. Switched them on and that went to my bed. Turned them off. Three days later, I'm lying in bed. And Emma's like, you're a total fucking arsehole, by the way. And I'm barely awake at this point. Like, I'm kind of half stirring. And she's like, uh, you're nothing but an arsehole, by the way. And I'm like, really? What? What the fuck are you talking oh, about? Oh, no, I've shit the bed again. My bad. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck it. She's like, Ken, how you got shopping in that, like, three, four days ago and stuck it in the freezer to keep? I was like, aye. When you turn the lights off for the outside guard and you put the fucking freezer off, it's been defrosting for three days because we never noticed. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Nice. Like... A bit like well with everything that was already in it, plus the stuff that I'd got like four days before that. Fuck, I get two, three hundred pounds worth of it just gone. Right. I was devastated, man. I had a fucking chocolate and orange Viennetta there that I wanted to munch on. You know? I'd been looking forward to it for days. All my cheese and onion rolls that I bought for the co-op, can the ends for like the bakery? Aye. Well, they came in like obviously they come in in like a food box. They just cook them in store. So I was like, Liz, give me that fucking box, and I'm just gonna leave it as a tray. Like in my freezer, and I'll just fucking hoy them out because I love a cheese and onion roll. I did like three out of it. They're all defrosted, they're fucked. Went in the bin. Fucking devastated. Oh, played, man. Oh, played. Could not oh. fucking believe it. Can have a. Can have Pook's day in the takeaway? Yeah. 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 Kev and Holly got you in the other night on Friday night. You got a burger, right? I, I asked him how it was. This was his review of it. It's like a homemade McDonald's. I was like, bro. <laughs> that ain't. That ain't the level, Aye. It's like a homemade Big Mac. I was like, I think they'd be striving a bit higher than that. Aye. They said it was good, by all accounts. So I, I've not tried it. I've looked, at, just looking at the photos on Facebook and that, and then obviously speaking to Craig, he was telling me some of the stuff that's going to it, and I'm like, mate, that sounds good as fuck. Mate, that sounds expensive would, as fuck, hi, and I'm not it's, interested. It's not that highly priced, actually. To be fair, no, like I would, it's ju- not even really about the price. It's about what you get for the price. That's always my thing with food. Like, Aye. see if I'm paying, like, 20 quid and I get, like... You, everybody's seen them, like, chef fucking programs where Aye. it's, like, one tiny piece of meat and, and then, like, chips. an asparagus stick or some shit <laughs> sticking out of it. And an it's, like... An asparagus spear. Aye, it's, like, oh, that's 20 quid. And I'm, like, bro, no, it's not. Aye. You know what I mean? Like, when you get like, a Carlos and you've got to pay for fucking chips with your steak and you're, like, sorry, what? I get a Carlos every Aye. every Friday. You can't eat Carlos every Friday. What, in CD? He, does, he doesn't mean Carlos in CD. I do. What, Carlo's restaurant? Yes. You got Carlo's every Friday. Carlo's Italian restaurant every Friday. Yes, I get a takeaway for that. And you wonder why you're skint. It's well nice. I can, it's well uh, nice. For a reason. It's £40 for a bowl of chips, though. Uh, well, that's it costs, exaggerating. It costs £40 pound for the family. It does. I, eh? get, I get penny compo and like the two steaks and... Uh, I don't know, I'll get a hood of stuff. Fuck it. Well, fuck it. Carlo's up in his fucking game if that's his takeaway then. Can. Because I, I mean before. Can Carlo's dead like, takeaway. Well, we uh, went for a birth. Like a kind of. Not a birthday meal. It was like a graduation meal for Emma. So we all had like. I think it was two courses. Some of us had like a start and a main. And some had like a main and a pudding. There was only four of us. And like a bottle of wine. And it was like 160 quid or something. Aye. Uh, easy. And I was like. There's not a lot to eat here. Like, what I had was absolutely phenomenal. It was delicious as fuck. 
but I went home and I was like, I might have to stick a slice of toast on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm ordering a Halle K. Aye. Yeah. Uh, well, looking at the photos he puts and stuff, I don't think that would be the case at all. Like, it I'm looks not, like a decent... I don't food. know. I've seen the photos and I was like, mm, mm, maybe. It's it's not enough for me. Maybe for Banjo, but not Aye. enough for me. Maybe enough for somebody <laughs> that has only two Weetabix in the morning, not somebody that has six. <laughs> you know I used to... Uh, when I, it's when fine I for a kid's portion, for a meal. not for an adult. Aye. It's like a happy meal. Yeah. <laughs> every every time like, I went to Carlos for a meal, I would fucking I would finish a meal and then I'd run down to the bottom chippy and then can like get get the, get these sweets like the brain liquors and that. I used to get them. Do you think that's what happened to you? You had too many of them brain liquor things and it's just totally fucked your head now. <laughs> They were fucking awful. Uh, uh, they were shite. It was like a roll-on deodorant, but it was uh, just really... uh, I used to pop it? the why ball out. It was, just, it was just like sour juice, wasn't it? Aye, I, I never got it. why yeah. folk liked them. Like, oh, they've got the, the super sour apple fucking chewets and that. And I'm like, why? You, you're not enjoying them. Why are you eating them? It's a sweetie, mate. It, and I like it the was a, like challenging, wasn't it? It was like, I remember folk being like, I can have five of the fucking extreme sour chewets at once. <laughs> the, and fl- I was like, the, f- like the wee fireball things, just because it was aye. strong. And so you aye. just watch them start crying and like fucking saliva dripping out their mouth. And you're like, oh, mate, uh, that was well cool. Aye. So I'm going to just finish off this fucking packet of magic stars. Get okay, what I mean? Skittles, mate. That was my shit. Skittles. I Skittles and shit. Skittle. I always like fruitier yen rather than like chocolate stuff. Aye. I'm not a big fan of like... Chocolate, chocolate hurts well. my teeth. I eat chocolate at work. But... What did he say, Banjo? Yeah, chocolate hurts my teeth. It hurts your teeth? Yeah. Aye. Really bad. Try brushing them. I do. It, it still work hurts. Wonder. So it, get, it gets in all the cavities and that and then it fucks me up. Crisps are the worst for that. Squashies. Mm. They're good. Crisps like the get drums, fucking everywhere. Drumstick squashies. Mate, what is going on with oh. your internet, by the way? Is it Biffin? Biffin? It, banjo. <laughs> can you, is that happening with you as well? I'm hearing Deke all fucked up. Aye. It's Deke's, I thought it was me for a minute. Oh, this is well, what you should do no, on your phone. We always, we always argue about this fucking Wi-Fi and how we... Ken, just do it on your phone. It's just because Dika's shit Wi-Fi, that's how. Mm. Aye, Emma's, Emma's torn and cast away down the stairs. <laughs> what happened, mate? What, mm. what fucking, happen. Oh, it's because Watching you've H- got that TV H- hanging on. What? What TV thing? Okay. He's got a TV. No. That takes up all the internet. No, see, uh, <laughs> try shutting your microwave door. What? <laughs> say, say, uh, <laughs> Ken, I was complaining about my PS4 not connecting to the Wi-Fi. Aye. Aye. Well, it's because you have shit Wi-Fi. No, I re- well, I, I reset the Wi-Fi... And then the Warzone... Hacker man! Warzone, reset the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Warzone was working brilliantly. And then it wouldn't, it wouldn't let the TV work because of the Wi-Fi. It was like... Ga- oh, have ga- you got a smart TV? Aye, but it's... Uh, you know the sticks you put in it? It's not an Amazon a fire stick. stick. It's Plex. No, no, it's It's Plex. not a smart TV then. Take, well, it is. It's a smart TV. But I think he Plex on it. Right. So that was fucking up your... Warzone. Aye, but now it's gave my PS4 priority and it's not letting the Plex work. Are you sure that's what's happened or are you just no, guessing? No, no, 100%. How do you know that? Because it's Plex has never, we've never had a problem with it at all. And then when I... So because you've changed one thing, you've assumed that priority, in quotes, yes. is the reason that that okay yeah, you can't get into the setting and prioritise certain devices though right you can but you actually have to go into the settings and do yeah. it mm, I you can it. also limit like Ken what would be funny as fuck if your mother actually limited your PS4 like time wise <laughs> that'd, that'd be, be fucking, fucking hilarious uh, my pals mum and dad did that to them and it worked for everything right. like their phone and fucking PS4 right. you can do it if you go into the river you can do it for anything mm, that's fucked up that. like because I mean, there was a uh, the guy up the stairs was nicking our Wi Fi at one point, and I was like, Why is our Wi Fi so shit? I went on and he had like six things attached to the Wi Fi, and I was like, Bro, nah. So, like, I kicked them all off and then changed the password. No problem, sounds. Mm. But you actually have to go into the settings to do it. It doesn't just like, Oh, reset, and then it changes. Uh, aye. You can't just, mind oh, well, this device connected first after I rebooted, so it's priority. Yeah, that's, it's not the way it works. Nah, I didn't usually have that issue, to be fair, with the PC as much. Uh, just because it's like a it's wired rather than the Wi-Fi. Yeah, wired's better. If you wired your, if you got an Ethernet cable banjo and put it in the back of your PS4 and then actually into the router, that I, would help a lot. Yeah. It has far too much hassle, man. Fuck that. It, Where's the router compared to your PS4? Far less like hassle. router's downstairs. Uh, PS4's upstairs. Ah, uh, you could 
You could get you know the TP Link things that plugs into the wall and do it that way, but that'd be your only option. No yeah. idea what that is. Oh, is that that wee fucking circle thing in the wall? Yeah, what you do is you plug it. It's like it's literally just a plug that's got two Ethernet ports on the top of it. You plug it into the wall, and then plug a cable into the back of your router, and then one into the top of this thing, and then put the plug in your room somewhere. And then plug the Ethernet cable into the top of the one in your room and then into the back of your like PS4 or computer or whatever. And then it works. The signals travel through the mains in your house instead of like Wi-Fi through there. Oh. Can how many, speed can how up, many yeah. folks' minds you just fucking blew on this podcast? Yeah. Got blow. Not, I'm too lazy to do that, man. There's no chance I'm going to do that. We need to get you know, these things that Hog was talking about in the podcast. Though, it's play lit- it's literally faster. easy as fuck to set up. I've got one, but the only thing I had to do was it kept dropping signal. So yeah, I have to send like a ping every so often and like make sure the signal doesn't drop. That's yeah. it. I don't but, know. No, it. it's literally a cable for the spare room into this room, and I'm fine. Uh, it's literally out the box. You plug it into the wall, and then plug it into the wall in your room, and then you need two Ethernet cables. I'm pretty sure it comes with two, most of them. But mm. uh, if your Wi-Fi shit, you should do that. If you're trying to play them online games, or if, if your porn is buffering. This is a bit of fucking educational podcast coming out of me today, mate. World War World II. World War II. Fixing your internet. I can. Internet problems. That's why I bought that t-shirt that just says the peep show thing. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Because that's usually <laughs> what I say to people when they ask me things about internet and computers. <laughs> Turn it off and on, mate. It'll probably work. <laughs> My father gave me his phone earlier because like, he's fucked his phone, to be fair, which he never said at the time. But he said he was getting a new phone, so he needed to transfer stuff he's, like, for the phone he's got to a different phone so that when the alien gets taken away it can put it to the new phone can I does that make sense I felt like that Aye. didn't make sense in my own head use the cloud mate Aye. well he never said it was broke so it, the way he worded it was would you know you're kind of tech savvy pals be able to transfer stuff for your phone onto <laughs> another and I was like really you can't just do that yourself like what the <laughs> fuck and he's like I know well, the screen's fucked in that I was like right that makes sense. You should have opened with that, rather than just being like, you "Can't have to switch my contacts for your phone and another." Like, fuck me. You could still do it. Like, yeah, you could still do it. Ah, uh, well, I've got his phone here, so I need to do that after the podcast. Enjoy yourself. But it's fucked. Like, yeah, I can't I, get this player fuck all on it, even when it's. I don't know how contacts computer. are saved in the phone. I don't know if that's in the root access. If it's in root access, you can do it in the computer. But if it's not, you're fucked. Nah, I don't think it is. But I'll find it. I can't, I can't imagine it would be. It would be really stupid if it was. But. Yeah. Well, I said to him, for on, save your contacts to your SIM card. Yeah. Like, prioritize important numbers to your SIM card. And then you just switch the SIM card over. But. Blew his mind. Aye. Anyway, what else mean going on, boys? Well, somebody asked me to ask Banjo, my oh, wee fuck. brother. Where the fuck is it? Fuck off with that. Good fuck oh, here we go. This will be a good one. The US has successfully tested a laser weapon that can st- destroy an aircraft oh, in midair. God. Has it though? Yeah. Right. Is that is that what happened in fucking Pakistan? <laughs> 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 oh, that's awful because the ninety eight ninety odd folk died. No, it's, they're saying uh what is it? A new high energy laser weapon capable of destroying aircraft mid flight has been successfully tested. Uh, on a US Navy warship. So like, they shot down a drone way like a super powerful laser. Uh, it's believed the laser would be 150 kilowatt. Right. That, well, I just wondered if you thought that was interesting or not. That is, was a, is that, is well, that, I, thought, I thought there was a question for Banjo at the end of it. No, I just That's my bad. thought. I like it. Do you want Can me? I get you in for the hoose? <laughs> <laughs> I've I've seen the I've seen the videos on YouTube like came in there in like China and uh, that and they get uh, they get the AV super lasers but they just cut a bit away and that and then like you can see I know this is a bit stronger than that ah yeah, yeah but they it's like it the same concept they do it in Africa with uh, to stop malaria as well the, well I'm not sure if they've implemented it yet or not but there was an th- idea that blow the mosquitoes away with lasers no no it was a guy. Uh, <laughs> Google, they were like Google have got this program or like this department or whatever that like are like we need to solve this problem, and they just get a bunch of fucking like genius mental cases in a room and are like throw some ideas about, and this guy was like, why don't we shoot the like what are they the mosquitoes with lasers, and the guys were like, mate, that's a fucking stupid idea, 
And then they actually looked into it and they're like, maybe not so stupid. So I think what they did or what their plan was or is, I'm not sure if they've implemented it, like I said, is to set up these like light posts effectively around like a house, say, and then have a laser grid connected to computer like intersecting all the way across. And then the computer determines based on the fly's wing speed and shit like that if it's a mosquito or not. And then if it is, it shoots it and kills it. It burns, like, its, Bro, it burns its wings yeah, away. Yeah. That's some fucking sci-fi shit. That's just a UV light, is, is it not? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not a fucking engineer. But this is that on a much bigger scale, obviously. To shoot down a fucking plane. I don't know what the application is, though. Like, surely it's not just going to be, be... Instead of, like, a SAM turret, they're just going to shoot lasers at Aye, planes. Sa- SAM turrets can get, obviously, diverted. You can't really, you can't really divert a... Uh, you'd, a have laser. Have a, you'd have like a fucking direct you'd have to have a direct line so I assume you would track it at low strength and then amp the power up to full essentially but it would be able to do it like through this computers is some, it would be able to do it in like a you've got flares in that for Sam's like bro this is some fucking bro science we're doing right now well I don't can like but, to, to put it in perspective for it'll not really make much sense the only way I can calculate it though the closest thing I've got is like you say, <laughs> you say, Bolt <laughs> maximum oh, yeah. power output oh, while sprinting was two point <laughs> six. So this laser is a hundred and fifty Usain bolts or seventy five Usain bolts. What is what is that? Wait, I can't find anything. Like it'll not calculate to anything like sensible. <laughs> it'll it'll calculate to fucking. It's, it's seventy five it, Usain bolts because I understand what a Usain <laughs> what bolt is. <laughs> I am completely <laughs> lost. I don't it's have about two point six kilowatts. <laughs> it just generates a lot of electricity, I assume, and then blasts it at a target. It'll that... convert it to horsepower. <laughs> <Don't fuck laughs> is that it? Like, is that all? Is a laser just like straight electricity that's concentrated? Is that all it is? I got the heat, heat and fucking is it heat. What is it? It's light? Yeah, but light doesn't just kill something. Ah, if it's intense, it contains like heat, and there, heat. is there friction yeah. with it? I don't know. I don't. Fu- It'd be like a magnifying a glass and the no fucking laser hand. weapon. Here we go. Laser. How what? Uh, how do laser? How do laser weapons work? There we go. Right. If the electrons in certain materials are stimulated with enough energy, they emit light waves, which can be amplified and made to travel together in a narrow beam. This beam is called the laser. Woo! That does not help me in the fucking slightest. Science, bitch. That's how it works. Science, bitch. That's it. That's what... It's an amplified single color source of light. If the Americans ever get asked, that's it. It's just science, bitch. That's how it works. The physics, isn't it? Yeah. Physics, probably, yeah. Which is a science. <laughs> so is chemistry. But that's essentially <laughs> yes, laser, it is. <laughs> laser generates so is math. Mm. Essentially, laser generates a beam of light which needs clear air or a vacuum to work without thermal blooming. I don't know. It's an acronym of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Well, you've seen That's the wee, you've seen the wee, wee lasers like set in paper or light and that. It'll just be... I but paper's a bit different from a fucking military-grade aircraft. Is it, though? Mean, if it's on a big scale? Bit, slightly. Banjo, the Americans just didn't make really big paper planes out of, like, A1 bits of paper and then, like, throw them at countries. I bet, I bet like, that's how they started off with. Wrong. I, wait, and here's a question. What was the first aeroplane, mate? There you go. Another bit of history. I can picture it, but I can't tell you the name. <laughs> Paper. <laughs> was it? No, that's not what he means. Oh, right. What was the first aeroplane that was successfully tested, is what I'm asking you. They cycled it. Do you know who they are? It was a young guy, because it was only a young seater. Mm, there was two brothers. Aye, but both of them didn't sit on it. <laughs> they <both built laughs> they didn't they did sit on it so that they didn't care. Are you sure? I think they did. I think they, uh, you didn't care the name. No. Uh, I think it Very did, famous. It was, it was named after them. I mean. Aye, they called them the Aeroplane Brothers. That was. Uh, that was, that uh, was no, it was, a, it was the Wright Brothers. Hey! The Ru- I'm, hey! I'm shocked, the, actually. 
that Google coming in clutch. Google. The Wright brothers, <laughs> Never. Orville, Orville and Wilbur were two American aviation pioneers generally credited with inventing, building, and flying the world's first successful motor-operated plane. It was 1903, by, by the way. 1908. <laughs> That's not what my Google says. <laughs> <laughs> First power. No, it's not. 1903 on December 17, 1903. Is that that Google, mate? Never. Oh, never. It was just fucking... No. Just at the back of my head there. It was. It was. It was hidden away somewhere. She in 1903. So a gliding experiment. Here we go. Some guy named... Chanute visited them in camp each set season from 1901 to 1903 and saw gliding experiments, but not the powered flights. So they had gliders in 1903. Aye, the, no, 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 no. This December 1903. No. They made four brief aircraft. flights at, at Kitty Hawk with their first powered aircraft. This, there's so much shit on this. Oh, you're right. There you go. There we go. Danny doubt me. Learned that at fucking. You're on your school. fucking did, cell back. Didn't they doubt me? Google tell me. Learn, I was nah, Google never, <laughs> never. Learned that at high school. Is that what did I? Uh, Is that when you learned it? Is that you, when you learned about Mira Hindley and that? Do you, day, do you know it was? Uh, Can you remember it? what age his nieces are? Fucking remember <laughs> the exact date that the Wright brothers used a powered airplane. <laughs> also, did they get the name for about what two and a half minutes there? But then I came back to you for, suddenly. Roughly yeah, about the same amount of time it would take you to type it into a phone. <laughs> it's like uh, no. No, no, if you're a child, if you're a child typing with one finger, that's how long it would I, take. I was, <laughs> I was just getting the cogs turning before it came to me. I thought I heard a noise. I made get, getting the brain turned fucking on. <laughs> Uh, it took you a wee while to kind of power up there. Fuck me, I'm yawning already. Do you know the first helicopter though? Maybe it gives a fuck. I'm sure banjo. Google's got to tell you, Banjo. Why well, no, 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 me? mate. I'll tell you. Right, you We're tell me. Pal. It was uh, on September 14th. <laughs> We're moving on to submarines next. September. <laughs> September Special 14th, guest Camo! <laughs> 1939, the VS 300, the world's first practical helicopter, took flight in the. S- Sta- Statford, Connecticut. That was it, and uh, designed <laughs> by Igor. I'm going to let you. I'm definitely not reading off this Google. No, it was. Oh, uh, what's that word there? Or oh, Connecticut? Built by. As he struggles to pronounce <laughs> words. Vocked. This is all coming from my brain. I know the words in there. I just don't know how to say it. Vocked. Vox Sikorsky. <laughs> it was a. It was a helicopter which was uh, incorporated by a single main rotor. And a tail rotor design. You know bro, if you, bro if you double tap Y, it'll give you a speed boost. <laughs> <laughs> Where does it say that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I get it. That's a GTA joke, man. Uh, uh, that was the classic one. <laughs> double tap Y, it'll give you a speed boost. Uh, do you know there's oh, helicopter gosh. taxis? Banjo, you can't just sit here and just read <laughs> Wikipedia pages. There's a... There's a uh, tell, right, I'll tell you what you can do, right? Every week, what we'll do is we'll get you to do a wee, a wee random history segment, right? So you can look for something that you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't care anything about that. Dude. And then you can let us care next week. Well, I've got I've got a fun fact for you. I've, I've, I've got a fun fact. Did you know... C- I can't wait to have fun. Did you know sea otters link arms when they're sleeping? So they don't, so they don't float away from each other. It, I know. How cute is that? Wow, that's so fun. Yeah, that's changed. Do you, do you know turtles can breathe out their butthole? That's so fun, also. <laughs> I know. Is this just animal facts now? He's that just giggled. Interesting animal facts. That's all done. <laughs> no, I haven't. I just knew them off my head. Like I'll type, I'll type them there. Tur- turtles can well, breathe through their butthole. Animal, funny animal. That's facts. not a thing, mate. You can't just sit there and be it like, is. "Oh, here's." I'm just gonna read. No, I, I didn't mean the turtles thing that breathe you through me. their asshole. They do. Yes, I I'm accepting that. But what I'm saying is, you can't just sit here, Google, and then read off a fucking Google search you've done. Did you know? I'll claim it's your knowledge. Did, Aye. Did like, you know? I'm not just reading this off. It, Aye. It's different if you're actually trying to inform people of something that you're Aye. not sure of. Is saying that, oh, I've Googled this and now it's my information that I'm trying to pass off as my own does not work. What's wrong with that? You're being a fucking idiot, that's what's wrong uh, with well, that. Well, did anyway. you did you know 
the, the fingerprints of a koala bear are so are indistinguishable from indis- humans. Indis- They've indis- often indis- been confused in crime scenes. I found your fucking page, you cunt. From humans that they have on occasions been confused at a crime scene. Did you what know? about the next thing he says? Slugs have got four noses. Nah, I was I found your fucking that Google page. You I, re- fucking <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I was saying this horn is made out of hair, which is like. <laughs> they fucking ass, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The Here, fuck here's, yours, here's yours a bit sloth. <laughs> it, takes, it takes a sloth two weeks to digest its food. <laughs> And, uh, I tell your mother oh, to like, well, limit the, your phone usage. Nearly, <laughs> nearly Sloth, 3% of an on. ice of the ice in Antarctica is uh, penguin urine. Oh my god. Bats always, penguins of knees. Bats, bats always turn left when they're leaving a cave. <laughs> Banjo, stop just reading a dodo article. <laughs> It's a, oh wait, here's your name. Around 50%. Mind you. Wait, this, this is about orangutans. About 50, gives a fuck. About 50% of orangutans <laughs> have fractured, oh, that's awful, have fractured bones due to falling out of trees. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, that's. Sleep the night out. Yeah, that's a bit. Uh, that's quite oh depressing. Oh my god, man. It can hurt being smart, right? And knowing things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. It can make you see the well, world in a very so, different sorry way. Sorry, guys, for putting it down. No, this is just interesting pandas. things that I just can off the top of my fucking head. As he reads uh, the here, list in order. Uh, oh wait, I see. I see order, me and, and then gets sad orders. halfway through. Like his brain, <laughs> his brain knew the information, but didn't understand the implications of what it meant. So then he got sad afterwards. <laughs> the fucking rang it. He just he's like, hey. oh man. Oh, I knew that, but I didn't think that that would mean that they were hurt. Oh, or now pain. that now that I say it out loud, broken uh, bones don't sound pleasant. Hey, yeah. but here here's some of what I agree with, right? Oh, fuck, Banjo, right. fuck. Oh. No, no, was it wasn't. Like, you, you've all heard Banjo, of China. I'm, I'm ta- Banjo, I'm, ta- I'm a minute away. I'm, ta- I'm a about, minute away from kicking you at this chat. I'm talking right? about... <laughs> Shut the fuck I'm talking up. About, I'm talking about a different subject. <laughs> right, come on. China. China. Right? Country. Right. <laughs> I, I don't agree Big with country. I don't I, 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 I don't agree with some of the stuff they do, but right. did you know human rights activist banjo? Did you know in China killing a panda is punishable by death? Yes, it's an endangered species. Totally agree with that. It's the same pretty much everywhere else. I'm well, no, sure, right? because if I killed a panda, I'm not gonna die. Like they're not it's, gonna kill uh, me. Nah, even if if you kill like the yeah, because we don't have the death penalty. I know. <laughs> well, they do so. You get a die. Is that your fact? Ch- China has the death penalty. That was your. No, if you kill a panda, you got to die for it. Like, so then he killed pandas. Because they have the death penalty. Yeah, which is yeah, cool. Yeah. Did you know spiders can't fly? <laughs> Mate, I did get in that. Aye. They can't if it's windy. They can't when I throw them at the windy. <laughs> <laughs> this is falling with style. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Banjo, get off of Google, mate. I'm done with listening to your shit. Dogs' nose prints are as unique as human fingerprints. Just saying. That's me off. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, folk, for uh, the Something About Facts podcast. <laughs> <laughs> something About Facts. Something there About Animals. Go. That's what we should have named it. And just have Why? you sit on Google and me f- tell you to shut up the whole time. Uh, something about, if you, if you want to hear more of uh, Banjo's Google facts. Interest uh, animal facts and we'll just, just make a uh, podcast out of it. Aye. Just an hour of Banjo reading, reading internet pages. <laughs> <laughs> And then no, they, 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 can, can, they can, can read can along with me. I'll tell I'll tell them what page I found, and then they can read along. It's like a, it's like a child's book. Yeah, <laughs> that would actually be interesting as fuck. Just listening to Banjo read information that he didn't know before, and then reacting to it no, in real time. No, you'd have to video that. <laughs> you, you would could, have to video that. You could see him like looking fair puzzled, like, wait, what? Well, what? But, I don't know. Hitler I'm, killed people. Why? What? I'm why still, does, why I'm does still the tearing up a bit there after the eggs? I'm still tearing up with the orangutans. That's, that's Penguins just... have knees? What? <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, I love it. Love it. How can a kangaroo have three different fucking babies in different life cycles at once? Baffled. Mind what? blown. I like, I like the wee pouches. I looked inside during them. I seen a video where, where a guy... That, a was guy that wasn't a kangaroo's it. pouch. You were looking I, at the prostitute's was. vagina. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was kangaroos in there. That's cool. <laughs> Say that the next time you're in the pub. You're hanging. Can oh, I get a look at your kangaroos, kangaroos pouch? pouch. <laughs> I like it. It, it looked well cozy. A bag of coke you've got up there. 
<laughs> oh, uh, folk in Dumfries and Galloway, there's a bad batch of coke going about the new. Just thought I'd let his Public okay. service announcement. Uh, so, it's uh, it's, it's Andrew's <laughs> selling it, so don't buy for him. No, no, it's not me. It's not me. But, uh, so it's a bad batch of coke I hear as he puts fucking rat poison in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to hang him up profits. No, it's, no uh, it's, not, it's, it's that blue cocaine for uh, Breaking Bad. That was blue yeah. meth, Banjo. It's fucking full Oh, well, this like. definitely isn't rat poison. <laughs> and uh, there's, there's been a few folk in the hospital with it. Did he fucking take coke then, you cunt? <laughs> you know what I mean? I like how bad his PSA you? is. For all you coke heads out there, just be careful. I know. Just saying, Did like, get, coke? get it a couple so. months. No, no, get it a couple months till that coke's gone. <laughs> and then... Wait, can I, can, I, uh, can I ask a question? Why the fuck are people get buying coke during the lockdown. Well, that's what are I they asked. Just snort it? Are that's they snorting lines and getting mad with it in their own house? I, 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 I used to do that. I used to pop... I used to, oh, I better not say that. <laughs> not go for it. No, I'm all right. <laughs> uh, I used to I'm bang good. a dick lined in me when my mum and dad were on holiday and have a mad wee rave to myself. No, no, it was when I had me in. I used to snort lines of coke and put eggies in my locus at the same time. That was, <laughs> that's how I got down on a Friday night. Stick it in the After microwave. After my meal at Carlo's. <laughs> Fucking Never even head. been to Carlos, man. He's just eating out a fucking bin at the end of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Chipping balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Yeah. I love this shit, man. <laughs> so I uh, didn't buy Coke, folks. For a while. Ken, who wants this? Ken, who wants to get off the coke? Fucking Takeshi69. You seen that motherfucker? Oh, man. He's in jail how, is he, how is he not dead? <laughs> oh, he's got to be soon. Do you see what he did? He got out of jail. This is a few weeks ago now. And fucking... They, like, put him under house arrest or whatever to, like, protect him because he was like, oh, I'm a blood and I'm a crip. And then he was like, I'm he's neither both. a snitch on every he's day. Like, I'm, I'm a blood and a crip. I knew that they all wanted to kill me. I'm none. Uh, That's yeah, how it works, mate. Uh, and then he was like... So they moved him out of jail and they put him in, like, probation or whatever, house arrest or some shit like that to keep him safe. And I think he's still got part of his sentence to, like, play out or whatever and what and he did was he get, could, like years of house arrest couldn't they in yeah. america like that's a thing yeah. where you, like you're essentially on the tag but yeah. for like two years yeah so like what that. he did was in this house he went out onto the balcony with like some fat cash i'm pretty sure it was on his instagram like bundles of money in each hand and was like posing for this instagram picture and then a lassie that was staying in the house across the way looked at her window and she's like who the fuck is that clown with rainbow hair fucking on his balcony with all these this fat cash so she got out her phone and videoed it and was like oh my god the cash six nines living here so they had to move him again <laughs> i was like bro that's a good way to get yourself fucking see killed. what absolutely what i don't right understand now. like the fact he was like uh, he, he did it on his instagram he was like if you don't have this watch you you're a boy to me you're nothing uh you can and he just kept going on like that it was like uh, I thought you'd be a fan of his videos, though. Eh? No, man, I don't like him. No, I don't. I don't even. He, I won't even he give pisses him, me off. Mere I won't than give him the Dan views. Bolzerian. What? He pisses me off more than Dan Bolzerian. I know. I was wondering what Banjo said. No, I don't even give him my views, man. Like fuck that. Do you, have you ever heard any of his songs? No, I don't want to. Uh, I, I see on folks' Instagram, like there's a lassie on my Instagram. She takes like a picture and then like pits his music in the background of the picture, but. Nah. Is he even that... Like, like, I've never heard of him. I'll make me. a point of listening to him at some point this week. I won't, man. Fuck Ken that. What it is, right? But he looks Ken like a is. fucking chukter that's like, Ken, like, you know, the mumble rap cunts. Uh, it's not even that. It's like... See if I was to go to the gym, that's the music I'd listen to. It's so fucking, like, hype and, like, heavy fucking... Ken, what I mean? Is like, it? Doof, yeah, it's fucking madness. Like, can I dance like, and I, rap at the same time? Kind of, but tra- it's really trancy? different. I don't know what you would define it as. I've not listened to a lot of them, but I listened to a few of the songs. You'd see what it's all I about. I feel like I'm gonna listen to it and just define it as utter shit. Yeah, like I you wouldn't will. like if I'm sitting. See if I'm sitting, fucking whatever. Usually, I listen to music when I'm playing a game or something. I would not sit and listen to it. Or if I'm at work, I would not listen to it. Like I don't listen to it anyway. The only time I would is if I went to the gym, probably, and I was like, I need to get hyped up. But I didn't get to the gym anyway, so. Do I you have guilty him. pleasure songs? I listen to everything, mate. I don't um, give a fuck. I, li- I like, I like, f- uh, I don't know. Depends. The thing about a guilty pleasure is like, it, it baffles me because it's something that you don't want to tell people you like because you think they'll think that you're a 
like cunt or whatever for listening to it. Uh, I'm just like, I don't care. Like, I'll happily say, oh, I'll fucking sit and listen to my playlist, right? I'll go from Slipknot to fucking Beyonce to Eminem to Taylor Swift to Cypress Hill. To, like, I'll just listen to fucking anything. Uh, if the song's good, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But Takeshi's well, music, from what I've heard, it's not my cup of tea. Really. It's not something I I'm will just s- listening to when see, I'm See, I never out. got that because, like, I think that would go for like, any of our pals and that. Like, we never really cared. No. Like, like we'll go on any... We, the amount we of times we went into Sam's... Anything. Okay, I mean, yeah, the, the amount of times we went in the Sam's and we put like love on top or something on the fucking jukebox <laughs> or some shit like that, and you're just like, I don't give a fuck. fuck oh, you got think you got think I'm a prick because I'm listening to this Beyonce song. Cool. I tell you why I hung it with you in that case anyway. I wouldn't anyway, but come on, I mean, aye. If you think somebody's a dick because of what they listen to, or you're like, I can't believe you listen to that music. <laughs> Unless you put on Takashi you... Six Nine. <laughs> 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 Unless listen it's to him, Kenji. you're a knob. Aye. Like folks, that think that way. I'm like, mate. Like fuck off. It's different. Like obviously, if they're if they're forcing you to listen to it, knowing and you know that they don't like it, then the person that plays it's a dick. Mm-hmm. But if they're just like listening to their own song, like if I'm at work listening on my headphones and like Sibo was to say, "Oh, hog, what are you listening to?" and I'm like Beyonce, and then he's like, "Oh, I'm never talking to you again." You're like, "Mate, fuck off." Get what I mean? Hi. Like, no. I, well, that's what I mean because I like I can a lot of folk that like they only listen to like certain kind of not just bands but like certain types of music. Yeah, certain genres. And yeah. Like they'll not even entertain like, anything I, else. Yeah. Like for me personally, I just, I didn't like country. Like it's it's just I've never liked it. There's a few but, good country songs. But, but, I, a couple but I d- well, that's what I'm saying. Like ninety percent, I didn't like. I like Aye. maybe the odd gin. Aye. I don't like uh, heavy metal. Oh, you really didn't like Slipknot? No. Nah. Or System? You don't like System either? No, I like. I, like, I, think, I think there's like She's one not song that I like. Music bands, you because uh, I made he was in a maybe and then I was like, "We'll pound system up a down," and he's like, "This is shit, man." And I was like, "Wash your mouth out." So. How <laughs> dare you? Uh, it's just ugh. no. I just but, I was I've, I was kind of curious, like if if like you had guilty pleasure songs, like, but then I'm like, well, Hog kind of listens to everything and couldn't really give yeah. a fuck. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I listen to literally fucking anything. Ken, what song I've been listening to a lot recently for any reason? Ken, that Rihanna song with Kanye West and Paul McCartney in it. Oh, four five seconds. Yeah, it came up on my record, like Ken on YouTube. Wait a minute. Ken on YouTube, how you get the like playlists that just like randomly yeah, add like songs ra- to it based mix. on a song. Yeah, yeah, it came up on that, and I was like, "This song's really good." Like, I forgot how good this song is, and I've been listening to it a lot recently. Have you heard of uh, what's his fucking name? I can't even get one yet. No. The Rolling Stones. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> ca- ca- I can't even pronounce it. Kawayo. Kaleo? Mm. Help me out a bit, Mermaid. What's the song called? Uh, S- way sing d- for way us. Down We Go or Broken Bones. Or... That's pretty I good. I have heard it, man. No. I've, re- I've realised, like, the missy, like, my missy's pointed out that I'm into, like, depressing songs. <laughs> and I never realised, but then I was looking at my head. Depress- what, are you sitting listening to the script all the time? Like, no, oh, no, no. Sitting like listening like, to the script uh, in Lincoln Park. <laughs> 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 I don't know, like... I don't know. Sam like, Smith can, makes can, me uh, like Thomas Hill. Can, can that Eminem <laughs> song be in? I can't even mind. That's good. That oh, that Eminem one. Song. That one. That that right. good. The only good one that he had. <laughs> yeah, that one. The in. Right. The in with a good music video. So Stan. No, the other one. Fucking hell. See, but that's that's like depressing too, though, isn't it? Without so. me. Oh, the depressing. No. The uh, cleaner in my closet. No, no, no. The, the, the in what you is it newer or older? No, the new one. Darkness. Aye. See, that's, right. that's depressing, too. Shit like that. Yeah. Well, it's a bit... Dark, Darkness a is shooter, a... So I, I listen yeah. to Ray Charles. Darkness is a great song. Yeah, Ray Charles is pretty good. Yeah. Is that uh, it? Uh, da, 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 da. Venga Boys. Let's listen to Venga Boys. Yeah, I love a bit of the Venga uh, Boys. See, Kim, I love... See when fuck it... Like, I could be in a well shite mood. See if I hear Candy by Christina Aguilera. I'm just like, fucking yes, mate. It's not even that bad, <laughs> is it? <laughs> I mean... Mate... Ken, Ken, what song will get me hyped up regardless of what I'm doing? <laughs> Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. Yeah. That shit will get you going. I won't give a fuck. Like, you could be sitting there in the most depressed mood ever. Like, oh, my, like, my grandparents just died or whatever. And you're like, oh, it's so sad. Just, you're in a bit extreme there. Like, just like, like off the Sabotage! <laughs> nah, I'll fucking love it, bro. I don't give a fuck. That shit will get you going. 
what's your banjo? What's your tune that comes on and you're like, fucking yes? Uh, <laughs> Hotel California. <laughs> I thought he was going to say something depressed as fuck. <laughs> like the man who can't be moved. Something like that. <laughs> uh, oh, Stand By Me. That's... Benny King. I mean, yeah. It's not really a hype song in the same way that Sabotage is. But, no. Uh, oh, The White uh, Stripes. Seven Nation Army. I'm, I'm getting a bit sick of that song. I think it's, I've heard it too much now. I had to take it off my playlist a wee while ago because I was like, bro. Serian. Uh, yeah. Stuff when gorillas are always good. Feel good ink. That'll always hype you up. Mm. I like that. That puts you in a good mood. Uh nineteen two thousand as well by the gorillas. That'll put you in a good mood, guaranteed. But well, there's a lot of some, good shit, man. Some fucking toppers, mate. There's some good surprisingly enough, there's some good music out there, folks. You just have to go and find it. Ken. Ellie Steve. Golden. She's great when you're feeling sad. Like a lot of that. When you just need I, to I used to like her, but cream. not now. Have a bottle of wine to your cell and a gallon of ice cream. That's your girl. Mate, literally, that. See when I was um, ill. Like, see how we're at New Year when I was ill. All I listened to was Ellie Golden because I couldn't be fucked doing anything else. I was just like, I'm just gonna sit and listen to Ellie Golden and watch it on YouTube. I didn't need that anything else did. in my life, bro. That's what I did for like four days, and it was class. <laughs> didn't regret it at all. I was ill, but I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> I felt loved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh man. good. Uh, Here's a fun boy, fact. Is that about us? Uh, I, Anything else to talk about, Banjo? I How get, was your egg, mate? That was lovely. I, I like egg, man. It? Yeah, I used to drink a lot <laughs> of eggs. I like your comment. Donated a tenner. Fuck your egg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you Kev, Kev today. Kev, Kev Jordan, you need to get this fucking egg, sugar, and shot challenge done. If you've not done it by the next podcast, there will be consequences. I guarantee you he's not I don't know what yet like oh shit you in your cat box <laughs> <laughs> I found just got to take a shit in your cat litter box Mate, if you you're going to date before the 13th of fun. July uh, 19th Aye, what's the 13th of July oh that's when he's away off, no I'll take I'll go and pick him up for fucking they'll beat you and I'll take him in I'll, I'll we'll say I'll work. send my shit in a bag send it to Dick's house <laughs> and then he can by Amazon. he can post it <laughs> I'll send my shite in a bag. What, through the Royal Mail? Uh, I'll send it DPD recording delivery. I'll put it in a paper bag, Tay, so you've only got like a couple hours before it seeps through. <laughs> I, can't wait, I can't wait for you to actually try and do that. Take the <laughs> shite in the bag and then forget to send it. Because done as a fucking <laughs> chemical terrorist because he tries to just leave it in a fucking, leave it in at the post office. But I'll do it tomorrow. It's, it's just anthrax. anthrax. No, no, it's just a jobby, I promise. <laughs> it's a jobby. It's a jobby in a paper bag. Could you get done for that? Probably. Aye, just, uh, that's lit- <laughs> you're just being an arsehole. <laughs> what you try what about if I cover it in glitter? Man, you're Banjo. mailing Banjo. your shit in a fucking parcel. Of course you're going to get fucked for that. Yeah, Day it and let us go. Aye. <laughs> what do they got to say? Like, oh, exactly. here's a, what comes here's a why, line. Okay, do you want to, Banjo, do you want to get what they'll say? They'll say, why are you sending your shit in a paper bag to Wait, he never drank an egg. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a shape bag. <laughs> <laughs> he's a shape pal, mate, that's why. Shape he's a shape bag because he didn't do oh, the challenge. <laughs> Fuck it Did you actually donate the money though? Ah, of course. I know I did. Did you, Banjo? Ah, of course I did. Ah, good man. Good I man. thought it was for something else though. I was going to crack a wee joke and I was like, I better not because folk will start commenting like, ah, right, you've got to clap, you bastard. <laughs> no, that's the, literally the first thing I thought. See, when it <laughs> said the next clap, I was like, oh, yeah. whatever it was, <laughs> 7095, or whatever the fuck it was, I was like, but this is not the first time clap has went through Banjo's phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might want to get to the clinic because you might have the clap. <laughs> but I was like, that's why I didn't crack a joke, man. I was like, no, it would just go on, man. Fuck that. But, uh, I know, I seen it and I was like, fuck all that. I'm not doing that. I, was, uh, I had an idea. I thought about it for a couple of minutes and I was thinking about guy like uh, co op or some shit and buying like a Kinder egg and doing it with that. And I was like, that's too much hassle. Fuck that. That, that would be funny, that. actually. I, I was guy like, get a Kinder egg because I was like, ch- the egg and the sugar and then like crack it in half and fill it up with like whiskey or some shit and take just the shot out the egg and, and then eat it, it. Mate, and then that, I was like that's a fucking move man it would have been smart right but then I was like that means I'm gonna have to get up and go out of the shop and fucking like look at the camera fuck fucking chestnut checkers you've got 48 hours boom fucking and then I was 
then I was just like, I'll send a tenner. I meant to post you, you're, yeah, you're you're onto the Haggis channel, by the way, Banjo. I totally forgot about it. What ha- what happened? I meant to put you're in onto the something about Haggis channel, but I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just got to... Yeah. It's Talk weird as fuck. Message, I'll see it then. If he's tagged in it. Oh, no, I tagged her in it, but it's not been on her wall. She says she's not doing it because she can't handle egg. Oh, she, she blocked she, you. Has she seen the podcast yet? No, no. Banjo? No, no, not at all. Nah. Mm. Uh, what you got to do when you move to the army? <laughs> she, she'll see what? it soon. I can't do it in podcast then. I can. She can, though. Especially when I send it. And what are you going to do about it? Oh, Danny. What's he going to do about it if you send it now? <laughs> That's a fair point. Just uh, cry in your direction. Hawk, please don't. What are you going to do when I'm away anyway? Like, what are you going to do about the podcast? Probably Starts. enjoy it a lot more. Start selling drugs filled with rat poison to people. I don't know. Bitch, I'm on that idea. Don't, eggs to kids. <laughs> don't fucking stand on my... Uh, uh, Kim, I'm going to do banjo. I'm going to order a paint by numbers and be happy with my life. I bet you get it fucking before me too. I don't know. We'll have to talk. But we were talking about doing like, video game shit again, which... Mm. It, it's been kind of funny trying to get anything done during this thing as well, because like, I was talking to Hog about getting like a video camera and then... Uh, stuff with some of the kind of potential guests we've got the new. It's kind of shitty and all that we we like we we didn't have the option to get another folk on the new yeah. unless they've already got all the stuff there, which not a lot yeah. of folk have got. Like a mic, you can go, you can go and, dro- and drive so. and drop it off though. Like I can drop off this mic to you, and you drop it off to whoever it is. Oh, banjo, trust me. See, when you get the army, you'll not be keeping that mic. Oh, oh, no, oh, fuck right oh, I could I could literally take this laptop and still do a podcast. Mm, do you care how the army works? I'll get I'll get three nights. <laughs> oh boys, I can't I, I can't get an any training in the night. Uh, I've got except for No, but if I've got like a no, spare yeah. half an hour, I can just fucking buy eye sound. Just pop in. <laughs> just pop in, <laughs> see what's going on in a way again. <laughs> it's like, ah, fuck off, lads. <laughs> no. I don't know. We'll obviously see. Like we were tossing ideas back and forth, maybe a bit like games and shit, and then what we're going to do with it. It's like. Yeah, we've got a couple ideas. We're just gonna have to figure it. It's a bastard because PS4, then on PS4 makes it difficult because it means we're gonna have to buy like two copies of a game. Yeah, which are kicking the fuck out like what a hundred quid if yeah. it's a new game to get two copies to play together. Mm. And playing on Steam, like playing on PCs, a lot better because it's cheaper. But then I'm lonely and it's got like a really like capable computer of doing yeah. it and recording it at the same time. Ah, uh, it means like a toaster, and that's just the video game stuff. Like the other stuff, yeah. Involved, but no, we'll keep so you updated like, and let you can and you can let us care what you think in the comments. Maybe will. There's this guy actually. I can because they're, fu- some they're guy. fucking ignorant. What's his name? He keeps asking if we want to be friends in the YouTube comments. What's his name? I don't know. I don't even look at the yeah, YouTube. Yeah, that, that's a fucking <laughs> that's a hangy <laughs> that. Like. I just. Huh. Ass- I just assume that Hogwarts. That's like the Indian folk be like, oh, uh, you want to get married? Like, it's not. Is it though? Uh, I mean, can you talk about our audience in that demeaning manner? It, it probably, it probably just finds us by the what's it called? What's it? What's it called? The, al- the, the algorithm. Oh, aye, and then comments. <laughs> Kim, what an arsehole he is. We'll be friends. We we'll be friends. Already. Yeah, it's that guy. Wanna be friends? Yeah. I don't remember what his name is. I thought you meant his ca- account was called Wanna Be Friends. Nah, he's got, it's, the game's got a name, I just don't remember what it is, I see it. I can't see the no, comments. <laughs> There's not many on many of the videos. Campbell, shout out to Campbell, he throws a comment in. Oh, does he? Nice it's because he's a fucking geek boy, that Campbell. I don't even I like the videos, that about man. <laughs> That's nice of you. I know. Oh, but... But, right, anyway, right, we're going to call it that, boys. I need to get some shit done in that, so. Right, love you. You got to do your outro, Banjo? No, I did, I did the intro. Fuck you, then. Bye, folks! Well, that's all, folks. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Shite bag if you didn't. I love Have koala bears. <laughs> and Banjo loves koala bears. I like turtles. Bye. <laughs> Fuck, shut up, man.